The Blue Eddy Elite 30 V2. What do you get? How does it perform? And is it right for you? Everything you need to know is jam packed into this one video. I'm Justin. Welcome to the Solar Pit. Let's jump right to it. What's in the box? You're going to get the Elite 30 V2, the AC charging cable, the car charging cable, a ground screw, manuals, and warranty card. This is a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter that has 288 watt hours of storage capacity. Nine total outputs, that is two AC outlets, two USB-A outputs at 15 watts, two USB-C ports, one at 100 watts, one at 140 watts. One car outlet at 12 volts, 10 amps, which is 120 watts, and two DC 5521 ports at 120 watts. This does have the familiar LCD display screen that Blue Eddy always puts on their products, solar input, AC input, and the dimensions are 10 by six by six and a half, weighing in at 9.4 pounds. And the product warranty is five years. Now let me break down the inverter a little further because this is the 600 watts of continuous output inverter. It does have a surge capacity of going up to around 1500 watts. I highly recommend if you're looking for a system to always pay attention to the continuous output. And during testing, I did completely discharge this from 100% to 0% at the max output with absolutely no issues. Next, I wanna talk about the inverter efficiency. During testing, I was able to squeeze out 260 watt hours of the rated 288 watt hours of capacity, leaving us with an estimated inverter efficiency of 90.27%. And 90.27% is well above the industry standard, but right in line with other Blue Eddy products that I've tested. This does have an ultra quiet operation extremely important if you're considering a power station that is going to be placed in an area where you might hear it operating. At the max sound pollution, I experienced around 32 decibels. And how I achieved that was I discharged this at a very high rate all the way to zero to heat up the system itself. And then I tried to charge it at the max rate to get everything cooling off with the max amount. So I'm not just doing this under a small load or just under the max load. I am trying to push this system to its max to provide you with the max noise levels that I can come up with. Now I wanna discuss the standby consumption. If you're new to power stations, this is a statistic that you should be looking at. This is a test that is conducted with a fully charged system with the LCD screen turned on always and the AC outlets turned on always with nothing plugged into it. It consumes less than 10 watts per hour, which gives you a total standby of around 30 hours. Now this does claim to have 4.5 watts for no load. That's nothing turned on the LCD screen turns off, but the system's still on. So you'll get 4.5 watts out of that per hour. And then if you have just a DC standby turned on, that's gonna give you around five watts per hour of consumption. AC standby is only eight watts of consumption per hour. And if you have the AC and DC turned on, you're only gonna consume around nine watts per hour. Most modern portable power stations are equipped with UPS function. So if you experience a power outage by using this power station as a backup, it will automatically switch from one power source to another power source in 10 milliseconds. Now let's talk about the battery section of the portable power station a little bit more in depth. The battery chemistry is LiPo4, LFP, lithium, iron, phosphate, batteries, and those are the safest batteries that you can find in portable power stations at this moment. The battery capacity is 288 watt hours of capacity, and this power station is intended to be used for light power consumption for short periods of time. So that's why we have 288 watt hours of capacity and such a small uh, portable power station. So this is meant to grab and go. This is not meant to charge larger loads. And for some, the life expectancy is kind of confusing. So let me see if I can break this down for you and give you a better uh, understanding of the life cycle on the Elite 30 V2. This is rated at 3000 cycles to 80%, meaning you can use this on a daily basis 
for 3,000 days and still have 80% of capacity left in those batteries. That does not mean the life expectancy is only 3,000 cycles. That means you're still going to have 80% of the battery life after those 3,000 cycles. So this is going to last a very long time. And once we deplete those batteries, we need a way to charge those up. So now I want to talk about the charging methods on the Elite 30 V2. You can charge this up with an AC input of around 400 watts in about 70 minutes. So from 0% to 100% in around an hour. You do have solar charging that supports a voltage range between 12 and 28 volts and a max of 10 amps. And their total is 200 watts of solar input for this system. The Elite 30 can also be connected to the Blue Eddy Charger 1 for an alternative fast charging method while you're on the road. Blue Eddy is hyper-focused on consumer safety and the safety of their portable power stations. This Elite 30 V2 does have over 40 protective measures against current voltage, temperature, and circuit risk. This has an AI BMS that is an intelligent management system that prevents thermal runaway, prevents explosions and fires for maximum safety. The housing is actually fire resistant. So if something does puncture this into the batteries and those batteries happen to catch a fire in an accident, at least the housing will suppress that fire to be able to get this to safety. For me, app control is very important. So when you have this connected to the Blue Eddy app, you can customize, monitor, control, and get instant updates on a variety of different notifications. So you can be notified such as uh, storm warnings that are coming in your area, uh, power outages have occurred and the UPS has switched over, even reminders for long-term storage. So this does provide you with a lot of automated things, but in addition to those crucial alerts, you can control this from anywhere in the world if you do have this connected to Wi-Fi. So it doesn't mean you have to have it connected to Wi-Fi, but if you do, you'll be able to utilize all those different functions within the app. All portable power stations or other backup sources have their limitations. The Blue Eddy Elite 30 V2 is no exception to that rule. I like trying to help you identify those limitations before a purchase to ensure you're buying the right power stations for your needs. The Elite 30 cannot power large 120 volt systems such as air compressors or large microwaves, which is completely understandable due to the size of the inverter and the overall portability. Straight out of the box, the battery capacity is 288 watt hours of capacity and it is not capable of expanding its battery storage. But let's be honest, this power station is designed for backing up small to medium devices for short periods of time. So if you're looking for something like that, this is definitely one to add to your short list. In my opinion, I think this is a perfect pairing for people that like to go camping, that need on the go backup for smaller devices, even tailgaters that are not your crazy tailgaters, the ones that just go there that need the essentials, powered up. This is good for that. Maybe even to power essential devices when you have a power outage like CPAP machines, Wi-Fi routers, or even just to keep a couple lights on during the blackout.